another example of trying to compare the amount of forage we have, the forage supply, to the forage demand in order to get to a stocking rate. This is scenario two. And we have three pastures. There are 970 acres on this site that's in central Idaho. And we're going to start by looking at forage demand, um, forage supply. And forage supply, the details are kind of given up here. It's a mix of the loamy ecological site, which is the lowlands in these two pastures. And there's also some shallow loamy ecological site, which is sort of the higher upland hillsides on the shales of the site. So let's first take a look at the spring pasture. I always like to lay out all the pastures, and, and that's your goal, is to figure out how much forage there is in each pasture. Let's take a look at that spring pasture. It's 450 acres. We know that 70 acres of it is the shallow loam, so that means that the loamy site is 380 pounds, 450 minus 70. We know that that uh, loamy site produces 850 pounds per acre, because it says in the diagram that um, a loamy site produces 850 pounds per acre, and that the the appropriate use for that would be up to 45%. So we could use 45% of that on a sustainable level without causing damage. So if you had 380 acres that produces 850 pounds per acre and you can use 45% of it each year, that would be about 145,350 pounds of usable forage. That south pasture, I'm sorry, that spring pasture also has a little bit of that shallow, shallow loam site 70 acres it's not as productive it's 500 pounds per acre and it's a little bit less sustainable we can't graze quite as much so we graze about 40 percent per year and that should be sustainable and it's uh, 1400 pounds per total then so we have 1400 pounds on that shallow site in the spring pasture in the hill pasture we have a mix of the loamy site which is the lower site that's 195 acres and that's because the pasture is 280 acres minus 85 gives you 195 acres of the loamy site it's 850 pounds we can use about 45 percent of it on a sustainable level that's the proper use factor for this site so we'd have 74,588 pounds of usable forage remember there's also some of that shallow loam site in that pasture it's 85 acres we can, it's, it produces 500 pounds per acre. We can use about 40% of it, so that's 1,700 pounds of usable forage in the hill pasture. The creek pasture is all loamy site. There's 240 acres of that pasture. It produces 850 pounds per acre. We can use 45% of it, so we can use 91,800 pounds of usable forage in that pasture. If you total all that up, we have 342,738 pounds. What does that mean in AUMs? Remember, an AUM is 750 pounds uh, because an animal unit eats 25% of its body weight each day, 2.5% of its body weight each day, which is 25 pounds. There's, 20, there's 30 days in a month, so that's 750 pounds per AUM. So if you had 342,738, you divide it by 750 pounds, because that's what an AUM is, you'd have 456 AUMs. Let's turn our attention to the, to the forage demand. Forage demand in this uh, system is laid out in the second pasture. These, these owners want to graze uh, Scottish Highlanders. They're a little smaller cattle. So they are actually about 1,000 pounds. So they're really close. They're exactly what an animal unit would be. And they're grazed in these pastures uh, in the spring creek and the hill and the um the spring the creek and the hill pasture throughout the season and the whole grazing season is eight months so they have 46 cows let's see what the demand is for those cows so let's talk about forage demand 46 cows they're there for eight months so that means that we have 383 aums of demand if we want to take a closer look at that we note that each cow is one animal unit month, one animal unit, so converting animal units to months is a little bit easier. So the total demand then is 368 AUMs. Or you could look at that in how much they actually eat per day. You got a thousand pound cow, it's two and a half percent of its body weight. That's 25 pounds a day. They're out there for 240 days there's 46 cows and that means that you need 276,000 pounds of forage so your total demand on this pasture with cows alone 
is 276 pounds of forage. So again, that's just looking at is how many AUMs you have versus how many pounds of forage you need. Both of them are estimates of forage demand. So to bring this to conclusion, we have 342,738 pounds of forage supply, or that's the same as 456 AUMs. Our demand is 276,000 pounds of forage, or 368 AUMs. So since we have more supply than we have demand, we could increase our herd uh, and still have proper stocking. So it doesn't mean that you have to, but you could increase your herd and still be within the limits. Uh, my uh, just kind of last point is that just remember these things vary hugely from year to year. And these estimates of stocking rate are really just ballpark estimates. So in order to make a good use of this method, you really have to monitor and make sure that what you're doing is making sense for the land. So these are just ballpark estimates, but it's a place to get started.